So conductivity is a measure of a material's ability to conduct electricity. Sometimes it's referred to as specific conductance, but just like resistivity, it's related to a material's length, cross-sectional area, and temperature. So from a previous video, we had the expression where resistance is equal to resistivity times the length over cross-sectional area, where resistance is in ohms, uh, resistivity was in ohm meters, and then we had length in meters, and cross-sectional area in meters squared. Now conductance is just the inverse or reciprocal of resistivity. So we can just write that like this. We have resistivity is just equal to one over conductivity, which we express with this letter sigma, or also you can write it so we have sigma is equal to one over rho. So when we write the expression for conductance, we have capital G, uh, and that is just going to be equal to sigma times cross-sectional area over length. And if you remember from the last video, we give conductance in units of Siemens. Conductivity is in units of Siemens per meter. And then also area is still in meters squared and length is in meters. So depending on the context of the problem, we can use conductivity to find conductance, or if we're given conductance, then we can use that to find conductivity if we don't know it. Same was the situation with resistance and resistivity. We can use one to solve for the other. Now this formula assumes the ideal case where current density is uniform. Um, which isn't always the case, but for us at this level, it's good enough to use. So let's bring this down over here and create some space for us to work with. And if you remember from the resistivity video where we had a 10 gauge wire that was about 1.3 kilometers long, that gave us a total resistance of 4.5 ohms. And we found that using table values of the cross-sectional area and resistivity. Now we can find the overall conductance of this 1.3 kilometer wire. Um, by first converting our uh, resistivity to conductivity. So if conductivity is equal to 1 over resistivity, then we just have 1 over 1.724 times 10 to the negative 8 ohm meters, which is 5.8 times 10 to the 7 Siemens per meter. Then we can take this value of conductivity and plug it into this expression for conductance. So we get the overall conductance is equal to 5.8 times 10 to the 7 Siemens per meter times 5.26 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared for the cross-sectional area. And the length was 1,373 meters. And you'll see that we have meters squared on the top and 2 meters on the bottom, so we're left with units of Siemens. And when we solve that, we can just find that the overall conductance is equal to 0 0.222 Siemens. So yeah, just know that conductivity is a measure of a material's ability to conduct electricity, and it's just basically the reciprocal or inverse of resistivity.